This is probably a pretty dumb idea, but I'm gonna do it anyways because why not? So, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Uh, this is probably a really weird angle and it's not the most comfortable for me either. But as you can see, I there's a car behind me. I'm actually sitting on the trunk. So, why am I sitting on a car and why am I in a garage? Well, I posted on Twitter. That tweet was me saying that I wanted to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills, the Riviera palette in the Riviera, which is the type of car that I am currently sitting on. While I do this video, I am going to be doing a little bit of information on the car. Anyways, uh, to me, to give a little backstory on how long it took to actually get this video up and going, I posted that, I want to say last month. Last Saturday, my husband went with me to the mall, and I went to Ulta, Sephora, and a department store trying to find the Riviera palette. The lady at Ulta said that it was a limited run and they're not going to make any more and they don't have it in stores anymore. I don't know how true that is, but they didn't have it there. I went to Sephora, which for once, my local Sephora, there was only one girl working, but she was actually very sweet and helpful and kind and usually they aren't there. So if you're watching this, um, you had short brown hair and you went into the back and check the back room to see if you had any or if they'd already been all shipped out. Um, unfortunately they were, but I really appreciate you going back and checking the stock room. And I don't know why I went to the department store trying to find it. I don't know. I was like, hey, they saw some makeup there. Because I remember um, my mother used to go and get certain makeup products and perfumes from the department store. But it was mostly like perfumes and colognes there. So things have changed since I was little. I ended up doing Afterpay and purchasing it straight from Anastasia Beverly Hills Cosmetics.com. It just arrived today. I'm waiting for my husband to get home because this is his car, not mine, and I'm being respectful. While I do this video, I am going to be doing an unboxing and first impressions and then a makeup look. So far, all I have done is cover up my information on the box and cut the tape off so I don't have to deal with that in the vehicle. I can't roll down the window, so I'm gonna have the door open for ventilation and such. Okay, I hope I am in frame. You guys are on the dash. So, this is the palette. Oh, that's kind of cool. So, it's just plain white, but it's got these little like foam pieces that like fold. So, that's pretty cool. Here it is! Yay! I know I'm like really late at getting this palette, but I have it now. Packaging is so cute, too. Okay. It kind of feels like sail cloth. Like if you were on a boat, it feels like the sails. The reason why I say that is because I've been on sailboats. <laughs> it also kind of feels like uh, the fabric that is like the weatherproof fabric. And it's got a little plastic on it. Ooh, okay, good. It does have the names of the shadows. I'm trying to peel. I'm trying to peel this plastic on the mirror off. It's not coming off, but it does have plastic on the mirror. It came with a little brush, and those are the colors. So, we have sails, yacht, seashells, 
Palermo, Seaside, Inheritance, Mediterranean, and they all seem to be like a metallic shimmer, except for sails. Then we have Estate, Cabana, Coastline, Bahamas, Monte Carlo, Cairns, and Palm, which are all mats across the bottom. This is actually a really, really pretty palette. So I'm just going to do some swatches on my hands, or on my hand I should say. So starting with the top, ooh those are so smooth and soft. These are so pretty. I'm like not even hardly touching them and I'm getting a ton of color payoff already. So that is the top row. Now I'm going to do the bottom row underneath it, so Bahamas is really bright, vibrant, oh, it's so pretty, so soft. So there's the bottom row, starting with the state down here. They're really pretty and the color payoff is really good. Overall I'm actually really impressed with this eyeshadow palette so far. I am going to quickly do my face makeup and eyebrows and then I will come back and do an eye look with you guys. Okay now that I've done all my face and my eyebrows I even put on my eyeshadow primer which was the Color Workshop eyeshadow primer. I'm going to start in with the Riviera palette. I am going to take this brush, which apparently is an all-over eye blender, and I'm going to dip into Sales, which is that matte white, and pat that under my eyebrow. Ooh, that's really nice. It's like bright white. So, a little information about, about this car. It is a 1973 Buick Boat Tail Riviera. And... The boat tails were only made for three years, 1971, 72, and 73. So this is actually the last year that they were made. And they made 34,080 of them in 1973. It's actually the year that had the most boat tails made. Now I'm going to take that same brush and go in with Coastline. I barely have to touch this. And the payoff is like amazing. So I'm going to use this in my crease, a little above my crease. Oh wow, that's bright. <laughs> okay. This is my first Anastasia Beverly Hills palette ever. So I'm learning as I go. I'm definitely going to have to blend that line out, but that is fine. Coastline is a very pretty peachy coral. This car has a 455 cubic inch engine, which is a 7.5 liter. It is a V8. Now 
And if you've watched any of the car shows on Velocity, you may have seen that Gas Monkey and Counts Customs have done a boat tail. Riviera. I think Gas Monkey has done two of them now. My husband watched this car for for what? Nearly three years? Two years. Nearly two years. Yes, this fluffy brush. It's a very loose fluffy one and I'm going to take a state. Wow, you barely need to touch it, I swear. And I'm going to smoke out and blend coastline into sails. Beautiful colors. Look how these are blending together. I know my blends are not the best. It's gorgeous. And I'm going in with a packer brush. I'm going to go in with Seaside on the packer brush. And just pat that on the inner third of my eye. It's really, really pretty. Oh my goodness. Why did I wait so long to get this palette? The unique thing about this vehicle is just the overall styling. Love the back window. It's this huge glass window. You can probably see it. And it's like curved over. It's absolutely beautiful. I just don't have the lines that they used to these days. Okay, and now I'm going to take that same brush and I'm going to use Inheritance, which is another one of those metallics. I say it's metallic. I could be wrong. I'm going to put that in the center. Just pat that on. Going back in with Seaside to try and blend them a little bit more. Go in with Seaside again on the outer corner. Take a little bit more of inheritance and add it to this eye. My right eye is kind of got lost for a second. Alright, now I'm going to go in with this fluffy brush. It is a precision precision crease brush. And I'm going to go in with Palm. Actually, I should probably use the Anastasia brush, huh? Oops. They're not the softest brushes I've ever felt. They're not bad, though. So I'm going to go in with this end of the Anastasia one and go in with Palm. Put that into my crease. Actually, in my crease. Just to deepen it up a little bit. And I'm going in with Coastline with the other side of the brush. really working it and making that line not so harsh and then back into a state with the same brush and really working right here okay, I'm gonna go in with this one 
It's just a color workshop brush. It says it's a lip pencil, but it's a bit big, or lip pencil, lip, lip brush, but it's a bit big for a lip brush in my opinion. And I'm going to dip into cans, that purple, and just lightly twist it, barely touching it to the palette. That's how much I'm getting off of it. And I'm going to apply that to my lower lash line. Um, speaking of colors, we discovered the original color of this car, and it is Harvest Gold Iridescent. Okay, I'm gonna take that big fluffy blender that I have. I'm going to dip into sails and apply that underneath cans of purple. I do believe that I am now done with the eyeshadows. Absolutely love this palette. If you should definitely get it if you don't have it. This car has a huge dash, by the way. Love it. it is. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Last eyeliner. And I'm going to line my upper and lower water lines. If you're wondering what this is, it's the e.l.f. Illuminating palette. This specific eyeliner makes my eyes order so badly. I'll be right back. I'm just gonna throw on some wings with my hard candy walk the line liquid liner in asphalt. Okay, so I did my winged liner and my mascara, so now all that's left is my lips. This time I'm actually going with a gloss, usually I do a matte lip, but this time I am using Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit by Wet n Wild, and this is the color Send Nudes. No, I don't want anybody to send me nudes, I'm telling you the color of the lipstick. <laughs> interesting doe foot on it. I guess I don't usually do a gloss. But I felt like it today. So, I think that's everything. Yeah, I've already done my highlight and contour and blush using this illuminating palette by e.l.f. I'm actually thoroughly impressed with this palette. I don't know why I waited so long to get it. I really, really like it. I really do. So, that's a good thing, right? Highly recommend that you get it. My overall thoughts of it, um, I can't really complain. It's got a really nice combination of mattes and metallics. They're really soft um, and velvety. There is a little bit of foul, foul out, fall out um, in the pan itself, in the palette, but it's not a horrible amount. I didn't have any on my cheeks itself. The colors are absolutely amazing and it's it's really beautiful to me. It really is beautiful. Now, looking at this pressed pigments, it's an eyeshadow and pressed pigment palette, which I was pretty sure about that based on Bahamas, um, that really bright pink. Yes, the pressed pigments are Bahamas, Cans, and Palm. So that bright pink, the purple under my eye, and 
the brown that I put in my crease. Those are the pressed pigments. Yeah, vegan and cruelty free, good for 18 months. Thank you for watching. Um, if you're interested in more car type videos, let me know down below. Um, I'm still trying to convince my husband to start a car channel with me. <laughs> I know, you're, you're busy with work. But my phone is covered in spider webs. I'm going to get out of here before I actually have a spider like crawling on me. <laughs> Thanks for watching.